Hey, what's going on, you guys? Like, what you got <clears throat> to another one take review? Today, I'm got one for episode seven to eight of the, uh, the Bulls docu series, The Last Dance, which has, I think everybody can agree this has probably been the best thing on TV in the past four weeks. Okay, every Sunday, I'm glued to the TV checking the docu series out just to see more about this last run from the 1998 Bulls. And this one, it kind of <clears throat> primarily focuses on like MJ retirement and coming back to the game, like the stuff that drives him. Like this get started. This is what like it really seemed like hit Michael um pretty close to the heart because one for one, his dad dies um after his last season, uh the ninety three season and like that was like that was tough. And like I didn't know I was about this. I just knew his dad had died. I didn't know it took like three weeks to find his body. I think it was like three weeks before they found his body. Find the car, and I think like three weeks later they actually find the body. So that's one thing. And, and then it's just like that whole journey and like the guy just being exhausted and, and, and broken down. It's like, yo, I'm kind of, I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired. I'm just done, you know. And it seemed like when he walked away, he was legit happy. You know, it wasn't like, you can tell at the time when he walked away, it was just kind of like, I'm at peace with this. I wanted to come back and have to remind people that, hey, I'm that guy. You heard me? I'm that guy. Don't forget. Because I remember seeing a few things. And I always, and it's always one thing people always uh, forget that, like, Jordan came back in the 95 season just so having to lose to the Magic in the playoffs. And seeing the whole, that whole thing. From this perspective, is 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 so much better because it's one, you get to hear more stories. Even like when uh, the guy says forty five ain't twenty three, and then it's like, why is you, why is you enticing this man? This man does not like. This man is a lunatic. He like he needs the slightest thing to just make you. You know what I'm saying? He already gonna go hundred percent. You trying to push him to 150, 200 percent? Like you want him to go that hard at you? And every time something happened, he did. Like even with the rookie that scored 37 points on him, and then they played him in a back-to-back. -back, he said, "I'm gonna get what that guy got in the whole game in the first half." I don't think y'all understand. Just because you, in your mind, you think I'm gonna go out and then kill somebody today. I'm, I'm gonna go score so and so. That doesn't. That does not necessarily mean you're gonna do it. Michael Jordan had the ability to say, hey, this is what I'm going to do and then go do it. Like, everything about that. It's just I'm like, yo, this guy's a bad man. And then we started diving into the stuff like about him as a teammate, which I like. And the way how, that's like how he pushed people and they said like, yo, he was a jerk. Like he was, you know what I'm saying? He was the best. He was the nicest guy. And he just basically says like, yo, I wouldn't ask anybody to go out there and do anything that I'm not willing to do or haven't done. Like I'm putting in that work. I want them to, to be the best version of themselves. And that's kind of, in order to get the best out of somebody, you have to be hard on them. I know something because like Scotty was a different type of leader, but we see kind of what Scotty's leadership ended up being. Like Scotty was a good leader nonetheless. The team made it to the conference semis. Scotty sits out of play, which is I never knew about. It's like, yo, Scotty, I'm watching it. And let me get back to like Jordan being a leader in a second. But I was watching, I'm like, Scotty Pippen just sat out in the last second of a game because he was pissed off that he wasn't getting the ball. This guy who's supposedly about all teamwork and everything. What? Scotty, like they said, Scotty, you in out, I'm out. What? Bro, I, I, like, once again, this is, this happens in 94. I was one at the time. I probably was just, just turned one. So, you know, I, I'm looking at like, yo, what the hell? Like, what the, like, what the fuck, Scotty? So a lot of things you didn't get to see, you know what I'm saying, as, as they happen. I mean, like, and, and you don't just hear about it. Like, a lot of things you don't hear about it. Because the whole him sitting out the first few 30 games, 30-some-odd 30 30 some games 
of the uh the nine day season. You didn't hear, I don't hear about stuff like that. I just, I just hear about the end result and like the playoff runs after that. You don't hear about all that stuff. And so this just like yo, you looking at Scott kind of different. Like Scott, you got your wig. The whole then like, when I back to Jordan as a leader. I mean, if you ever if you like he said yo, if those people don't understand what I'm doing, that's because they ain't never worn shit. In order to be a good leader, you have to, first of all, you have to work, you have to show why you're a leader. You have to work your ass off. Not only that, you you pretty much have to, like, sometimes it, it requires you to be an asshole. I'm still that way when I hoop. All right, if, if, if somebody bullshitting and we on the same team, even if you're that, even if I know that person's not necessarily a basketball player, I don't give a fuck. I, I, I'm trying to win. And if I, I, if I feel like you, I know you can do better than what you're doing. Like the stuff you're doing just seems to be just dumb. You you probably going to see the worst part of me. I'm, I'm, I, I'm the least angry person I, towards other people. Okay, I'm going to get mad at myself a lot. But like, I'm the least angriest when I'm towards other people. I'm, the kind, I'm probably the kindest person you ever met. Coolest person on the planet. But when I'm hooping, that shit out the window. Like, <laughs> that shit out the window. That's kind of what Joy was. Like, you know, he was frolic with your, you know, they, they, people always say, like, he was always talking to, like, fans and stuff like that. But once we, once we cross those lines to, to, for the game of basketball, that shit out the window. I am, I am a piece of shit. And that's kind of what Joy is. We like, yo, I had to be. I had to be look. Look what the results were. Like we got the results because of that. Like if I'm just out there, like hey, good, 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 you better next time. But you probably wouldn't get to where they got. I like, know. Joe was like, y'all on your ass. Every time, like there is little. I seen it yesterday. Like Jordan would tear players. They could eat after bad games. Who the fuck is this guy to tell you, you can't eat? He's the leader of your team. But like he he demanded excellence because he he knew that's what he was gonna give you. So I I feel like that whole thing like just in general like that's that's some real shit. And then we go into the '96 season, which is the seven two and ten season, which is also the, the the best shoes Jordan ever come out with, most comfortable shoes that Jordan ever come out with. That was the year of the Elevens. Everybody loves bread Eleven, Concord Eleven. I just kept. Admiring the shoes as he was playing. And they go 72 and 10 and they're dominating the league. Dominating the league. Go running through teams in the playoffs and then they get to the finals to see how the Supersonics. Now, one thing I knew about Gary Payton all my life, regardless of how many times I've seen him actually play, you know, I got to see him uh, uh, during this later part of his career, like early 2000s, uh, you know, stuff like that. But I always knew Gary Payton talk shit and he don't give a fuck. Seeing that, he's like, yo, I'm down 3 0 against Jordan. Fuck that, I'm going. I'm going. And like the, the whole thing with, with Gary Payton, what Gary Payton sees and thinks, and then you see Jordan reacting to what Gary Payton says, he's, and he's just laughing like, I wasn't worried about the glove. I wasn't worried about him. I'm like, yo. It's insane, and and for the guy to win at that last championship on Father's Day, come on, man, come on, man, that 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 you can't write this shit any better, bro. Uh, you can't write this shit any better. Them they, they go up three zero. You turn to the super side and they like, no, fuck that. We ain't going out like no bitches. Everybody in the world already thought we were gonna get swept. We didn't stand a chance. They come back, rally out two wins. Boys close them out on Father's Day. Jordan wins his, his fourth title, his fourth Finals MVP. It's it's insane. Like every like I don't I'm, I'm saying every single detail about this thing has just been great. Like this is one of the reasons I, I appreciate the game and I appreciate I appreciate this deck you see it more than anything. It, it makes me want to go hoop. Every time I see it, it makes me want to go hoop. But every gym, 
and park is closed and this is the most frustrating, honestly, this is the most frustrating shit ever. But like, it's just like, yo, this, this hard. Like, I, and, I, and I rock with it. So, we got the, 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 the finale next week, episode 9 to 10, which I can't wait to see. I don't even know what necessarily what that one's gonna cover. I don't know if I I don't even think I covered everything from these two episodes, but that's the point of the comment section. Like anything you wanna talk about, I, I watched it so long I'm saying just bring it up in the comments because whew, this is this is this has been great, you guys. This this has been great so far and I, I know it's gonna finish off. Like I can't wait to see how they talk about that last shot and against the uh the, the jazz and like the first championship against the jazz, like all of that because Crazy enough, Carl Malone like grew up. Maybe he grew up the next time over from Wiley. Yeah. Well, where I grew up, like he grew up the next time over. Like it was never a rivalry between us and them because like by the time he was gone, like, it was just it was okay. So, and like, I've seen Carl Malone like a bunch of times, bunch. I mean, like and to see catch him at like the Dollar General, like like in my hometown or whatever. So it's like. I'm going to be excited. I want to know if they're going to put him in this. Because I, I'm excited to see that. I, I'm not saying I'm excited to see. I've seen the mix. I've never asked for a picture. That's, that's on some other shit. But, like, yo, I'm excited to see what's going on next episode. Uh, but you guys, let me know what you thought about this one down in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys stand safe. And I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.